So what we'll do, we'll take a look at the two different feed waters separately. The first one that we will look at is the open feed water heater. So this is part of the regenerative Rankin. So with the open feed water heater, uh, what we're doing is we're taking steam from the turbine and we're mixing that with the compressed water at state two and the mixture is coming together. Another thing that the open feed water heater does is it helps degasify the feed water. Remember we talked about saying that uh, you can have corrosion within your boiler due to oxygen uh, being present within the feed water. And with the open feed water heater, uh, what we're able to do is uh, by agitating through the injection of steam, we're able to uh, liberate some of that oxygen or air that might be in the boiler feed water. And consequently through this process, what we do is we reduce corrosion within the boiler, which is an important thing that, that we wanna be able to do. So the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to take a look, a closer look at both the uh, process schematic as well as the process diagram uh, for the Rankin cycle using the uh, regenerative with an open feed water heater. So what we have here is our process schematic and diagram. And th this is very different from the ranking that we looked at before uh, for the reason that we're stripping fluid off at 0.6, which is coming out of our turbine. And what we're going to do is we will say, we'll introduce a new parameter here and it'll be a little y. And it is going to be equal to the mass flow rate at six divided by the mass flow rate of fluid going into the boiler at five. And consequently, what we will be able to do, uh, we'll be able to say that this fluid stream here at six is percentage mass fraction y and the fluid uh, normally leaving our turbine will be mass fraction one minus y. And so we can carry that through. And then you'll notice that when we come into our open feed water heater, so let me just circle that, we come into the open feed water heater and we have fluid at y and one minus y, those come together and based on the way that we've defined the mass flow rate, when we exit there, we come back to 100% of the mass flow rate. So uh, we then show, I'll put a little one here. Don't get it confused with state one, but it's denoting the fact that we're back at 100% mass flow rate. And that is what this number one up here signifies. That is the mass flow rate of fluid going through the boiler. And we denote that as being one. Uh, but then when we strip it off, we have to be able to have a way to account for the fact that we don't have the full mass flow rate. So that's what we're doing there. And then if you look at the TS diagram, one thing that I'll say, whenever you're drawing these, always make sure that you go to the saturated liquid point. That's always the starting point for any of these cycles, and it will make your life simpler if you ensure that you go to that point. 
So we go there, and with this idea of mass fraction y, uh, what we have uh, going from 7 to 1, we can write 1 minus y. And then what is going from 6 down to 3 is y. And so that would be the percentage of mass that we are stripping out and is then going into our open feed water heater. So that is the TS diagram as well as the uh, process schematic with the open feed water heater. And what is going on here is pump one. Notice that we have two pumps. That's right. We, we have pump one and we have pump two. That's another thing that's different from what we've looked at before. And pump one does not take us all the way up to the boiler pressure. Pump one only takes us up to state two. So it's taking us to the intermediate pressure, which is the pressure at which we're bleeding the steam off of the turbine. So that's an important point of the uh, open feed water regenerative. So pump one is taking the liquid up to the pressure of the bleed steam. These two liquid streams are coming together and mixing in the open feed water heater. They need to be at the same pressure. So that, that's one point that uh, you'll want to remember. So that is the introduction to the cycle. Uh, the next thing that I want to do, and it's going to take uh, a little bit of time, is to take a look at the first law and apply it to the open feed water heater and see how the equations change from just the standard Rankine cycle. So that's what we'll do in the next segment.